Hey guys, how's it going? John here from johnsleg.com. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a bit of a treat for you. We're gonna do an unboxing of a box anchor. <laughs> So kind of fun. I just bought this off of Amazon. I'll leave links down below to it if you want to take a look at it. And I'm also going to have a future follow-up video comparing a box anchor to a bit more of a traditional, not so foldable anchor in the future. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to kind of get that head-to-head -head comparison, which is coming up in the next video. So what we're going to do here is unbox this bad boy, talk through it, and let's go ahead and just do that. And then we'll talk through why a box anchor, how it might make sense, and we'll also kind of show you how it works. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we got it unpackaged there and I had to uh, use a screwdriver to get the zip ties off. So this is why I got this anchor particularly. It's a box anchor, which means boxes can fold, which is beautiful. And it's so smart, especially there's a lot of storage on the boat, but every storage compartment is pretty small. So I didn't want to use our one big storage compartment to store a big, massive anchor. So I wanted to get something that could fold down and be nice and easy to use. So let me show you, let's set this up together and show you how it works, okay? So it folds down pretty nice, skinny and flat, right? But like a box, it has hinges and it can come out to be a square. And then you've got this little guy here, I think you can see that will lock into this little hole, this little post hole here, and will create that rigid structure of the box. All right, so let's go ahead and do that first, and then we'll attach the last little piece. So I like to have a little bit of leverage here. The spring is brand new and it's pretty strong. So we're gonna just kind of pull it up, push it through, and there it goes, and it's in. And now this sucker isn't going anywhere. It is nice and rigid. The last thing you wanna do, is take this rod, and this is what you're gonna connect your rope to, that you're gonna tie up to your one of your tire things. I'm having a, a brain fart here. Let me know in the comments what that thing is called, the front of the boat that you tie your anchor to. For now, I'll hand loosen and hand tighten it, but I'll tighten it down a little bit after the video. It is really in there. I'm gonna do that right now, because I need to to finish this job. <laughs> all right, so when they package this thing, they put this bolt all the way through, as tight as it can be, and it's tight. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing off. Okay, it's coming. This is ridiculous. All right, so I got it out, but this bolt got hot. It is hot to the touch right now. That is a very tight spot there. And we did all that so that we can do this, putting it through and tightening it. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna get this whole thing tightened again, since that was such a pain. So. You're gonna to wanna to tighten this inside there. I'm gonna battle with it for a little bit. We'll come back once it is fully tightened and this bolt goes on, or this nut goes on the bottom. All right, whoo, it's Florida in summer. All right, after more toil and punishment, I've got it on, it's tight. So the final bit of the setup would just be to tie your rope, any rope you want, tie a good knot, on this end here, and then you can attach it to the front point of your boat so that when you're in the water, throw your anchor in, you just have this set up, you toss it into the water, and because of the, the weight of this, it's going to keep it correctly positioned. So these little diggers that are on both sides, which is super smart, these diggers are gonna dig into the ground, and eventually, once you eat, reach the end of your rope, from the wind and the waves kind of pushing you away, it's gonna hold you nice in place here. So. That's it, like this video is pretty short. I'm gonna put some usage. We're gonna go out on the water a little bit with my family and we'll toss the anchor in and show you how it works from there and uh, give you my final thoughts after that. Let's go get on the water. You know, here's something that I probably should have shown you. This is the anchor that I bought initially and I'm replacing it with this box anchor and I think you can probably immediately see why. Uh, this is called a deluxe anchor and they're not kidding. <laughs> this sucker is a little bit bigger a little bit more to handle. Um, I had to also buy the chain to go with it. And just looking at it, honestly too much, it's pretty big. It won't fit in any little bench compartments because it has you know good length and good width. So it doesn't really fold down nicely. It's nice and strong, <laughs> but for our particular usage, you know, we're gonna be enjoying this on a lake. Not gonna be a whole lot of 
necessary strength that we need and the convenience of being able to just you know connect this over here which is literally as easy as this take this off of this guy put him on here and now we're ready to go <laughs> and use it probably have more rope than i need for the depth of this lake but that's going to easily fit anywhere whereas this one had to use up the big storage compartment next to the captain's chair and that just I didn't like that. That was around where all the batteries were, all that stuff. So this is gonna be way more user-friendly. So let's go ahead and store it in the boat. All right, definitely a big benefit here. This will fit nicely. Well, I have got my lead on this side, so probably not under that seat, but it'll fit nicely on pretty much any seat I wanna put it into. Ooh, there you are. So I should be able to just lift this guy up. Store him over here. Got my anchor. I can also probably put this in the bow storage. <laughs> Might try that next, but he fits perfectly down here. Adds a little bit of weight to the boat. And then this way, I don't need to touch this storage here, which is where the original deluxe anchor was needed. And there's, you know, there's batteries, there's the amp is down there. I don't want any big heavy metal piece um, going 